And this is session number two of day number one of Monsters Training Camp here on your Monsters Daily Training Camp Report. Ben Holden here for LakeEarieMonsters.com. The second group just on the ice getting loose, skating around, and making sure those legs are in good shape. And uh, some familiar guys out there. Harrison Reed just skated by. Julian Talbot just skated by there. David Lippitton, those two guys are both new to the club. Talbot last year in Peoria. Lippitton last year in Syracuse. He's a big, strong, physical defenseman. Number 42 there with Ray Macias. He's changed up the, uh, the number from last season. And goaltender that just skated by there. We'll give you a look at him a little bit later on in practice here. Former monster for two years. Jason Bacashua back to the hockey club. So we'll give you some more sights and sounds here as we continue on here from session two. Of game. Look at some of the drills early on. There's Jason Bacashua, the former monster manning that net. Chris Whitley, who was with our team a little bit last year, is at the other end. He's here from his team, the Allen Americans. That was Julian Talbot that just went in and fired a shot. Tom Zanoski there coming up the far wing with a shot toward the goal. And just some drills here to get things going. Here's Greg Malden just skated by. He's new to our club. Spent last year with Bridgeport and the New York Islanders organization. Very skilled and speedy player is Malden in tremendous shape. And he's going to be a huge asset to our hockey club. I think he is just a one out here, an excellent all-around player. And Certainly, you can't have too many of those kind of guys. So, here's a look at him. And there goes Talbot skating up the wing right past me. And John Zanowski in with a shot on Jason Bacashua. And Bash, as he's known, with a well, stop right there. So, more to come here from session two of day one here at Monsters Training Camp in just a minute. On a long and short pass as well. David Lippertin with a shot there. And let me see it. Back to the Monsters for another season. Ray wearing number 42 this year. Changing it up from number 47 he wore last season. And part of the second session here is Chris Whitley, who I mentioned earlier. Ray with the Allen Americans last season. Came up for the Monsters in early 2010. Lyman was hurt, and Whitley came in and did a stand-up job, and he's back here, an opportunity here in training camp. There's Luke Walker. He goes up the left wing side. He's a rookie. The Avalanche just signed him, and he'll start his pro career here. He's a good all-around player, good speed, willingness to get in there and get his nose dirty a little bit. One of the drills here, a little three-on-three three in one end, and the line against the white team here as they just trying to make a play and get a quick shot away. That's the emphasis here in this drill, what they want to do. Jason McCaffrey, everybody to take the shot. He made the stop right on cue. Did the Pretty tough defensive drill right here. Guy's got to go in and get a couple pucks out of the corner. It's David Livingston there going through the drill, make the pass up to the line. So Sheenard there, the rookie with a shot in there. And just to test the quickness and agility and those things, and uh, certainly a big part of why we're here. Down at the other end now, forwards working on a drill with Jason McCashley there in the goal. And See what happens here. Zanowski comes in using the wine uniform there in front. One of the newcomers on this team with him there. And I'll get a look at a couple of guys that were signed by the Avalanche in the offseason. Greg Malden driving up. Julian Talbot there to clean up the mess in front. Both guys, I think, are going to be a real big part of our hockey club this year. Those two young men. Look at Malden there, number 20. There's Talbot next to him. 
with Julian and Peoria last year, last few seasons actually, Malden with Bridgeport and the Islanders organization. Jason McCashua quick with that goal stick, but not quick enough there as the two on oh is good for the guys on the attack. So look at some of the things that have happened here on day one of Monsters Training Camp. That'll do it for this edition. This is from session two, our Monsters Daily Training Camp report. She's been holding reporting for LakeHarryMonsters.com.